Verse 20 of the world. His invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. Nor were they thankful, but they became fruitful in their thoughts, and their foolish heart was darkened. You know there's a God. You know that he holds you accountable. You know he has a plan for your life. You know he's been good to you, that he's protected you. You know you've even called upon him, but you've come to the conclusion that you're not going to glorify him as God. You've decided I'm not going to thank him every day. He does great things for me, but if I thank him, that means I acknowledge him. If I acknowledge him, that means I'll be obligated to him. And so I'm going to shut God out of my mind. And God is full of wrath. Manasseh did that which was evil in the sight of God. His behavior was worse than, or at least as bad as was the behavior that the nations that God destroyed for their sake. The word abomination is used to describe Manasseh's behavior, which means that God did not like and God could not stand the taste of his behavior. If God moves somebody because of their morally disgusting behavior and you take their place, don't you know God will move you if you behave like they behave? Manasseh rebelled against everything that his father stood for. And this tendency to rebel 
is the manifestation of the sin nature that abides within us. If someone tells us to go right, something automatically within us tells us to go wrong. The desire to be independent, find our own identity, to chart our own pathway can be very destructive if we ignore the wise counsel of those who love us. And so whatever his father Hezekiah built up, Manasseh te tore down. Whatever his father tore down, Manasseh would build back up. Succeeding generations should build higher on the foundation laid by preceding generations. Can I pause to say that again? Succeeding generations should build higher on the foundations laid by preceding generations. You should get a better education than your parents. You should get to be better off than your parents. You should do more than your parents because you build on the foundation that your parents have left behind. Your parents are not your problem. They're just trying to help you. Don't let the fact that they stayed near to you cause you to hate them. Some parents raise their children to a certain age, say, you're a certain age, you're 18 now, get out, go on your way, go on your own, I'm through with you. And other parents hang around, try to help, try to lift. Don't abuse those who hang around, try to help, try to lift, because they're only trying to help you. Would somebody clap your hands and praise God? <laughs>